Hello everyone, this is Hound Dog flying with you as we continue our series of flights in historical aircraft from the past 100 years of U.S. Navy carrier aviation. Today is October 30, 1934 and we are flying the BF-2C Goshawk from the Naval Air Station San Pedro, California to an arrested landing and launch on the USS Saratoga CV-3. Clear prop. Radio check, one, two, three, three, two, one, radio check. We are cleared for takeoff. There's no traffic in sight. The controls are free and clear. Navy and Curtis felt that the F-11C Goshawk possessed development potential and the Navy decided to procure an improved model with a retractable landing gear. This aircraft still had the F-11C's classic Hawk wood wing with its flat bottomed airfoil and a main gear retraction system that was manually operated. To make room for the new landing gear system, the new BF-2C Goshawk was one foot longer and weighed about 300 pounds more than the old F-11C Goshawk. The prototype was first delivered to the Navy in May 1933 with a Wright R1820-80 radial engine rated at 700 horsepower. Trials revealed a 17 miles per hour increase in speed over the old F-11C, but the extra weight caused a decrease in maneuverability which the Navy felt was offset by the increase in speed. The wood framed wing was replaced by a metal structured biconvex airfoil and the aircraft was designated XBF-2C in keeping with the new bomber fighter category. 27 BF-2Cs were ordered by the U.S. Navy with a raised rear turtle deck, a semi-enclosed cockpit, and a metal framed lower wing. The aircraft was armed with two 30 caliber Browning machine guns and three hard points for 500 pounds of external stores. Delivered in October 1934, they were assigned to VB-5 on the aircraft carrier USS Ranger, but served only a few months before difficulties with the landing gear led to their withdrawal. In spite of its short service run, Many of the innovations developed for the Gauss-Hawk line found wide use in Navy aircraft for years to follow. They were the last Curtis fighter accepted for service with the U.S. Navy. The export version Model 68 Hawk III saw extensive active combat service with the Nationalist Chinese Air Force and the Royal Thai Air Force. Now let's take a look at the USS Saratoga CV-3. She was originally authorized in 1916 as a Lexington-class battlecruiser and construction began on 25 September 1920 by the New York Shipbuilding Corporation of Camden, New Jersey. In February 1922, before the Washington Naval Conference concluded, the ship's construction was suspended at 28% completion. She was ordered to be converted to an aircraft carrier in compliance with the Washington Naval Treaty of 1922 and was launched on 7 April 1925 and commissioned on 16 November 1927. Sister Sarah, as she was called, was 888 feet long 
and 106 feet wide. The hangar deck had an area of 33,528 square feet with two hydraulic centerline aircraft elevators leading to the flight deck. She used turbo electric propulsion to drive four propellers with two 22,500 shaft horsepower electric motors for a top speed of over 34 knots. The Saratoga could carry over 100 aircraft with some suspended from the hangar ceiling. Total personnel on board, including the ship's crew and aviation group, exceeded 3,300. During World War II, the Saratoga participated in many critical battles, including the Solomon Islands, Guadalcanal, and others, and on several occasions sustained significant damages from torpedoes, bombs, and kamikaze aircraft. She received major repairs and retrofits throughout the war, including the installation of early warning radar in February 1941 and replacement of 8-inch and 5-inch guns with anti-aircraft batteries in an attempt to meet the underestimated threat from aerial attacks. While receiving major repairs in March 1945, the Navy decided to convert the Saratoga into a training carrier, and she continued training carrier pilots until after the Japanese surrender. She was declared surplus to post-war requirements with the large number of modern Essex-class carriers in service, and on 22 January 1946 was assigned to Operation Crossroads, to evaluate the effect of the atomic bomb on ships. She survived the initial air blast explosion with only minor damages, but the following day was sunk by an underwater blast which was detonated 400 yards from the carrier. The force of the explosion lifted the vessel out of the water, knocked everything off her flight deck, and knocked most of her funnel onto the flight deck. The USS Saratoga was struck from the Naval Vessel Register on 15 August 1946. Over the span of the ship's 17-year career, the USS Saratoga received eight battle stars for her World War II service, and her naval aviators landed on her deck 98,549 times.